Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to talk about the uh, LTD 201 guitars that are supposed to be coming out for 2022. Unfortunately, it seems that it's going to be like uh, many of the other guitars. They get announced, and then it's months before you can actually get your hands on them, or a lot of retailers have them. I checked on Sweetwater. They expect them in the next few months, I believe is what they say. But, I mean, we're already halfway through September, so <laughs> maybe they'll be out in 2022. So basically with this 201 line, it looks like LTD is trying to make a more affordable version of the Black Metal series. I believe the Black Metal series uh, were all at about the $1,000 price point. The 201s look like they're gonna go for about $499, and a couple of them are $549. I've played a handful of LTDs at different price points, and I like all of them. Even at the more affordable price point, uh, still make a really quality guitar. So these 201 models have just a single humbucker and a single volume knob. So the TE-201 and the M-201 are both bolt-on neck. So I really like here on the uh, TE-201, on the bottom side where the output jack is, it looks like they've recessed that into the body a little bit. That's a nice little touch. So then the EC201 is the one I'm most interested in. Same deal, single pickup, single volume. It is a set neck on this and a 24 and 3 quarter scale at the usual single cut Les Paul style. So on the M201, it looks like they just have a regular output jack there on the bottom. I thought that was a nice touch with the TE. I would thought they would have went with that across the board on those two. The TE200 is the more traditional tele look. It's got two humbuckers and the traditional tele control plate there. They also did put the recessed jack on the TE200, so that must be just for the TE models that they did that. The pickups in the 201s are just an ESP-designed LH150. And the guitars all have a thin U neck shape, except the M201 has an extra thin U. And yeah, uh, the neck shapes on the LTDs, all of them that I've played are like really good. Really like their thin necks. So they're definitely a good mod platform. Uh, there's a lot of parts that can be upgraded eventually, but the bottom line is they, you get in the door for right around 500 bucks. One thing I really like about these, if you look at the back of them, they all have it appears to be like the normal size, like a full size control cavity. I think it's really cool, especially if you wanted to add an active pickup. There'd be plenty of room in there. You could get a battery clip. So for about a hundred bucks or so, you could throw in an EMG or a Fluence or Seymour Duncan Blackouts. Whatever your flavor is, you can throw it in there. A fairly cheap, easy upgrade right off the bat. For not very much money, you can throw a tusk nut in there. If you want to get a genuine hip shot, bridge you know you can spend about a hundred bucks and get one of those i think with these you can get yourself a nice inexpensive guitar that's probably good to go as it is and then uh kind of soup it up however you want to after the fact yeah i'm pretty pumped about these things leave a comment below and let me know what you think about these uh if you think they're worth it you think you should just go for the black metal if you're looking for this kind of guitar let me know what kind of mods you do on yours if you get one thanks for checking out the video guys i'll see you next time take care